years have passed since the disappearance of the dinosaurs. This is the time for the development of smaller animals, including small mammals, which gradually grew in number and species until they became the predominant group of animals during the Miocene epoch, diversifying greatly thanks to climatic changes. The planet Earth continues to change its appearance as the continents continue to drift towards their current positions, in this period Africa, the Arabian Peninsula and India continue to move northwestward. As time passes, first, there was a global cooling that reduced the atmosphere's ability to absorb moisture, the climatic consequence of which was increasing aridity. The planet Earth gradually undergoes a generalized temperature increase of up to current temperatures, a phenomenon known as the Miocene Climatic Optimum. Africa fractures in two, leaving the continent's fauna isolated. Among many other animals, monkeys suffer the consequences of the natural catastrophe. The Great Rift Fault begins to form, in the western part of this fault emerges a mountain range of hundreds of kilometers that prevents the passage of the humid currents of the Indian Ocean, so that the rains will not reach the interior of the continent. The Upper Miocene period caused the decline of tropical rainforests throughout the region, which also led to a significant decrease in forests, as rainfall became increasingly scarce. These new climatological and orographic conditions will significantly affect the ecosystems and therefore life on the western side, where the animal fauna of this area is, di is divided in two, those that inhabit the savanna and those that inhabit the forest, with completely different conditions and adaptability strategies. Those living in the savanna suffer the loss of the arboreal environment where they developed and which provided them with protection and ease of food, which increases life stress. In the same way as animals, plants also had to adapt to these changes, and it is important to note that, although some species disappeared, many of the animals and plants that existed in the Miocene remain today. And it is in this context of approximately 10 million years ago, when a strange mammal that we will call the common ancestor, and that lived in the trees, began to descend to the ground in a simple way and by short trips in order to explore a new territory, which over millions of years will be the beginning of a gradual evolution. Our history begins between 7 million and 6 million years ago with the pre-Australopithecus which are the first hominids of our family tree as a species.